I was even hungover yesterday. Uh-huh. I was hungover for two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I hope that you're doing well, Zoya, as well. I'm doing better, that's for sure. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Zoya, I couldn't help but notice, oh. welcome to the show, by the way. Thank you. That you were hungover as fuck the other night, Zoe. Yes, 100%. And where do you get off thinking <laughs> that you could be so reckless and irresponsible? I, you know what? I don't... I guess after drink number two... Everything is just done after that. It uh-huh. doesn't matter. No decision is a good decision after that for me. Explain how hangovers are different in your teens, late teens, early 20s. You don't have to one. To your... Um, Fuck off. To when you're... <laughs> I used to be able to... I was resilient, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you didn't even have to think about it. You didn't have to worry how bad you were going to feel because it was like non-existent in your like teens into your early 20s. Non-existent in your teens for sure. That's your body as a teen. Yeah. Hey, you might have a hangover for a couple hours, maybe. If that. And then 20s, you you start getting into the like mid to late 20s. It's like, oh, I'm never drinking again. This sucks. Yeah. But you have a bacon, egg, and cheese. You're good to go. Or you go to Denny's and you choke that down. You pretend it's fine. Yeah. And like you said, fine. Mm -hmm. But how did you have any like uh, go to hangover remedies in your 20s that you know wouldn't work um, in um, now that you're. uh... Oh, bacon, egg, and cheese definitely didn't work. (laughs) Definitely didn't work. (laughs) With 17 cups of coffee. Uh-huh. Didn't work. And a Gatorade. Mm. Well, it's like the Gatorade. You have 17 cups of coffee, and that dehydrates the fuck out of you, right? Yeah. And then you have one Gatorade, and you're almost back yeah, but to like, level. But yeah. you're still behind the eight ball, as it were. Right. And then I had, what, five bottles of water? Five, like, big, like, the red jugs that we have? Yeah. I was hurting bad. Well, Zoe, I don't... I think... I'm trying to see, like, if you were in my position, <laughs> what you would be calling me during this show. And I have a word in mind, okay. and I'm not going to say it to you, but I think with my eyes. Oh, I was a total <laughs> pussy. 100%. 100%. But I feel like I did pretty good. Like, I didn't really complain too much. And you weren't throwing up. You weren't no. like a... You know, you weren't like blanket over the head. No one talked to me. No, I did take a hearty nap though. Yes. As you yeah. should. As yes. everyone should. Yes. Mm. I, um. All the people who stormed the Capitol, take a nap. Yes. <laughs> you know, go outside and experience all of that and maybe have some meaningful relationships and stuff like that. And mm. then take a nap mm-hmm. and just kind of see if that gets anything out of your system. I mean, uh... I was even hungover yesterday. Uh-huh. I was hungover for two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? So I wake up. So Saturday night, let's let's set the let's set the tone. Uh-huh. My best friend and her husband, uh, we used to have date nights, right? Me and her husband used to have date nights, and yeah, we yeah. would go uh, on Friday nights or Saturday nights, and we would go and get dinner. Most of the time, Mary was picking us up from wherever we were. Uh, because a lot of the time we would just walk from their house to like a, a restaurant nearby. TGI Fridays. Yes. No, but yes. Duchess. Um, and then we would, you know, tie one on, he and I. You yeah. know, it was so much fun. We'd have dinner and then we'd go back to their house. And then we would decide to have martinis. Well, we decided that this we were like going to have... This is like when you were how old? When you were like 38. <laughs> <laughs> I was 22, 23, yeah. uh, 24, 25. So you're different. Um, and um, still young enough to not want to kill myself in the morning, right? Yes. But poor Bill. Bill's 15 years older than we are. He would want to kill himself in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so he was putting himself in a terrible position mm-hmm. 
So you guys because we loved each other and we used to have we used to have so much fun together, right? Yeah. So um, I was texting with him earlier last week, and I was like, you know, I miss you guys so much. You know, can we have a martini night? So we decided we planned the date for Saturday night, and we we had all the fixins, right? Same stuff, same everything, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and made the same way: dirty martinis, you know, vodka. We had some Tito's, sprinkling dirt from. As we all know, Zoya's childhood yes. loves dirt. So sometimes it gives the martini a little extra kick. Um, and uh, <laughs> we decided to have two, three too many drinks. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I woke up the next day and I felt okay when I first woke up. Yeah, that's how I get you. But as the day progressed, it was like worse and worse. And then I went to sleep in the middle of the day. And just trying to like, you know, get myself together. Yeah. Which was not easy. Yeah. And then went to sleep uh, the night before last. Woke up at 1.30, which I thought I had slept all night long, which I definitely didn't. Mm -hmm. It's 1.30 in the morning. And I have acid reflux. Fun. No. (laughs) It's the fucking worst. Everything you're saying sounds very old. I am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm closer to 40 than I'd like to admit. Hell yeah. You're going to be a fun 40-year-old lady. You're not there yet also. So close. Don't rush out of your 30s, Zoe. I got two years and two and a half months. I love when you go online and you go on uh, like Instagram Mm -hmm. and some of our younger friends are like, fuck, I'm almost 30. Dude, you don't even know. Depending on what you do with your life, thirties <laughs> are so good. Thirties are thirty was thirty was a, a rough year because that was the first year we moved here. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, for but that's me, also very specific, giant yeah. life change for me. Yeah, here. I'm talking speaking in generalities. If we want to take the mean, median, and mode out of our all of our expense, uh, all of our experiences from our thirties. I think for the most part, I would say, and I'm not going to speak for anyone else on it, mm-hmm. that I'm having a fucking great time. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> my 30s have been really, really great. I, uh, I'm i sad that they're almost over. <laughs> Dude, you did it again instantly. Uh, but Went right back to it. Yeah. But honestly, like I've had, we've had a really good, We've had good 30s. Every year of my goddamn life is great. Yeah. And I think we have a great life together. Mm-hmm. Even when terrible shit happens. Like yeah. when all my kidney stuff was happening, it's the goddamn worst while it's happening. Oh, 100%. But then it's over. And yeah. then you're back to your regular life, which is whatever you make it. Right. And we've uh, made our lives pretty good, mm-hmm. I think, because we look out for each other. Yeah. And it's, uh, I don't know. You just have a lot of life experience, and it's fun. You ever do fun things? Sometimes. Talk about it in the comments. 